the farm families of Cabot Cooperative are happy to be stuck in Vermont. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Solberger. We're here in New Haven, Vermont, at the home and studio of sculptor Dennis Sparling. What I'd like to do is finish off my life with telling a story through sculpture. has been sculpting and creating light installations for about 40 years now. If you live in Burlington, you've probably seen some of Dennis's work, such as the Leaf Froggers on Church Street, and also his Catamount on the UVM campus. Behind me stands his nine foot tall sculpture of Leonardo da Vinci. By certain crazy circumstances, I came to Vermont, put one foot in it, and knew I was home. When we first got here in 72, we could live on nothing. So the quarry started in about 1857 or 1859, and it lasted for almost exactly 100 years. I've kept a certain part of the antiqueness of it and the old things here out of respect for all the people that used to live here and work there. And this is all the junk and stuff that I couldn't throw into the dump from all the presents from the kids all those years. The downstairs area is, uh, you know, mainly work, and then upstairs is living. Well, let me finish the whole tour so you can see where you might want to do it. So this is like a uh, finishing gallery. Wow. For the Scythian Horseman, so I had to graph him out so I know where I am in space and time, yeah. down to the inches so I know how big an armature to put into the legs. It's just total dream world, delusional <laughs> dream world. It's, it's home. We <laughs> call it home. I always watched people because I wasn't part of anything. I was always an outsider. What I mainly love is everything handmade and I learned to make as many things as I can. I'm an artist, I'm just not a you know, savvy business person or anything like that. Most of it's practical, utilitarian art, architectural detail type work. Geez, I know I did lots of homes and other things with lighting and then branched out into New York and, and Florida and Boston. While I was doing all that and building both my former home and then this one, I was always dreaming about doing the fine arts like the leapfroggers. That's what I've always wanted to do is I wanted to, to viscerally reach people. I wanted them to have a feeling of the something was there. Well, this may sound a little airy-fairy, but I try and call the thing forth. I'm not sitting there thinking out what I'm going to do. It's just streaming from where I have no idea. I don't create out of trying to figure out something to show off or impress somebody, but to create from trying to remember the world that we live in, what's come before, and bring forward a story, something that talks about who we are as human beings is good art. Inside, I had to sign him, so he has an inner sanctum, secret place. So I said, uh, oh, Leonardo, how we talked, which we did. Was it me creating you or you creating me? You know, that's why Leonardo and I talk, because to me, he's not a sculpture. He's a transitional human being from the old world to this world. And there are very few people left in modern times that have their own mind. I think art for our future has to bring meaning into our world. Dennis is hoping to take Leonardo da Vinci that you see behind me across the country. So he may be coming to a town near you. We'll get stuck with you again real soon. Well, I think it would be fun, yeah. actually. 
I just have to raise a little money to do it. <laughs> That's always the rub, isn't yeah. it? Why do you think history is important? Um, oh, that's awful. I'm sorry. My weird phone. <laughs> and why do you think iPhones are important? <laughs>